reception and welcome to our phonics today on Monday the 1st of March. We're into March already, my goodness me. One more week left of homeschooling and then we'll all be back in our classes together. Can't wait to see you. A great thank you to Sabrina for the work that you've been sending in. That happy smiley face there with that phonics. What a fabulous whiteboard you've got. So well done Sabrina, super work. Now let's start our phonics today by practicing our sounds and our tricky words. So get your whiteboard and your whiteboard pen at the ready. And let's have a go at quick right. So I'm going to press play. V. See how many we can write down. W. fast now I can't keep up oh Zzz. ooh ooh ah ow oi ear oh your background to that j I missed that one at the beginning Goodness me, what a lot of letters we've been learning. Now, as you can see here, when I've been writing some of mine, I've put some of the joining tails on some of them, and some of them I've forgotten because we're all practicing these letter joins together. We're all working really hard on those. So don't worry if you're finding that tricky. Remember, I am too. So let's have a look at the tricky words next. So you can rub your board clean. And you can write down the tricky words if you want to, or if not, you can just shout them out as you see them. So we're starting with the tricky word he, she, we, me, be, was, my, you. Brilliant, well done. Getting great at those tricky words. Now we've got a story today, so let's get going with our story and our phonics. Kit and Stan were staying at Grandpa Dada's and Grandma Daddy's house. Let's cook, said Grandma. Hooray, we love to cook, said Kit and Sam. I love cooking too. Now, Kit and Sam had to get some things ready, so we've got to fill in the missing words to try and find out what they're going to need. So let's have a look here. We've got a picture here of some tin foil. So we've got to work out which sound is missing in the word tin foil. Can you have a try and have a look at which part might be missing to the word? We've got tin, tin, f, oi, oh, tin foil. I think it might be that oi sound that's missing. Is this oi? Is this the sound oi? Is this the sound oi? No, you're right. This is the oi sound. An o oh, and an i e sitting next to each other, making that oi sound. Can you have a go at writing the oi down on your board? And the word tin foil. Oi. Excellent. Ooh. Have a look at this one now that Grandma wants in her recipe. She's got a picture of some oil. Now she's only got the ool sound. Oi, ool. That's right, it's that oi sound that's missing again. So can we have a go at writing that oi again? An o oh and an e. Oi. Oil. Ooh. Now. This is a bit tricky. I thought this was some jam at first, but it's not. It's something called lemon curd. So the word we're looking for here is the word 
curd and what sound is missing in the middle? K so that's right, that er sound is missing in the middle. So have a look at the top. Can you find that er sound? That's right. This is the er sound, the o uh and the er sitting next to each other, making that er sound in the word curd. Have a go at writing it on your whiteboard. Excellent. Let's do one more. Oh, now, Granny here has got all of her cooking gear. All the things she needs to be able to make this recipe. Cooking gear. G, ear. What sound is missing at the end of the word gear? G, ear. That's right, it is. It's that ear sound. So it's a sound here that's got three letters to make that one sound. That's right. Ear. Let's write it together. E, A, R. Ear. It just makes that one sound. Brilliant. Now, what will we need to do? Ask it. Let's look in the cookbook, said Grandma. Great idea, said Sam. So now we're going to see some of the things that Grandma is going to need to help with this cooking. We've got the equipment. Now let's see what she's going to have to do. Mm. Now here, this pan is boiling. We've got to bring all the food to boil. So on your whiteboard with your pen, let's write that word boil together and then we'll check if we've got it right. Boil. B Oi, ool, b, oi, ool. I've got the b, the o, and then the ool. Let's check if we've got it right. Brilliant. Boil, b, oil. Now let's have a look at this one. Now the arrow is pointing down, so we've got to write the word down. Let's see if we can do that one together. Down. D. Ow. Mm. Down. D. Ow. Mm. Down. Let's check if we've got it right. Brilliant. We've got that ow sound in the middle of down. Now I'm going to have to check this one because I'm not sure what this boy is doing in this picture. So let's look together. Oh, he's listening. He's trying to hear something. So we've got the word hear. So it's on the screen here for you. This one's a little bit of a trick one for us. Hear. Can you write that word with that ear sound? H. Ear. Hear. Excellent. Now everything is ready, said Grandma. Let's all wash our hands and then we can get started on our cooking. So we've got some captions here. We're going to have a go at reading and writing together now for the end of our phonics. We're going to practice those sounds we've been listening to. So let's have a look at the first sentence. We've got, can you cut up the turnip? Oh, it's a question because it's got a question mark at the end. Can you cut up the turnip? Can you have a go at writing that on your whiteboard? Can you cut up the turnip? If you need a little bit longer to write that caption, you can pause the video now and then move on. Can you cut up the turnip? Then let's have a look what they need to do next. Let's read this one. We're not going to write this one. We're just going to read this one together. So I'm going to give you a second to have a look at it and see if you can read it at home. This first word. Tricky word. Another tricky word. Let's have a go together. Will you put the oil in that Pan. Another question she's asking them, will you put the oil in that pan? 
Ooh, this is always good when you're cooking. And it reads, can you hear the fizz? Can you hear the fizz when you're grown ups cooking in your house? Let's write this one down together. Can, can you, that tricky word we just have to learn. Can you hear her ear? The, we're getting great with that tricky word, the now. Can you hear the ear? Don't forget your question mark on the end. Can you hear the fizz when you do your cooking? So well done for all that phonics work you've been doing. I look forward to seeing those sentences you've written and those sounds we've learnt today. We've been practising and I'll speak to you tomorrow.